Another property of water can be investigated by its reaction with metals. Highly reactive metals spontaneously react with water, such as sodium metal reacts with water, potassium metal reacts explosively with water. When a small piece of sodium is placed in a beaker half full of water, the following observations are made. Sodium reacts very vigorously with water and it darts on the surface of the water. It also melts into a silvery ball because the reaction is very exothermic. Meaning, it produces a lot of heat. The heat produced may spontaneously ignite the colorless gas that is produced form a, fl a flame. A hissing sound is produced also and the solution is alkaline because when you add some few drops of phenolphthalein indicator it will turn pink. This reaction is represented by the following equation. Sodium hydroxide reacts with water vigorously to form sodium hydroxide solution which is alkaline or basic and produces hydrogen gas. This is the colorless gas. The reaction between calcium and water is less vigorous compared to that of sodium and water. Calcium sinks at the, to the bottom of the beaker, as shown in the diagram, and a steady stream of, F, of bubbles is produced. When we invert a funnel and put a test tube full of water, we could be able to collect the gas by overwater method. The gas produced is hydrogen gas and it burns with a pop sound or you can say it extinguishes a burning splint with a pop sound. I'm sure you remember that. The solution formed has a white suspension because calcium hydroxide is slightly soluble in water. So some of it will remain in solid state that is the white suspension. However, a little of it will dissolve in water to form calcium hydroxide, which we call lime water. This reaction can be represented by the following equation.